Hello, thank you for choosing to view my post or presentation on reciprocity and in interprofessional education, community agencies' reflections on a virtual, team-based, critically engaged civic learning model. My name is Emma Harland, and I completed this project last summer under the supervision of Dr. Gail Adams Carpino. So in terms of affiliations, I'm currently a second year Nawson University student, and this study was funded by Nawson University's Summer Medical Student Research Award program. The objective of this study was to better understand the perspectives of community agencies participating in Nawson University's Interprofessional Education Program. We were specifically interested in understanding whether the agencies felt that this IPE model was reciprocal in nature, so was it benefiting the agency while simultaneously benefiting the students. For some background, interprofessional education is a structured educational approach designed to support learners in enhancing their knowledge and developing skills necessary for future collaborative practice within the healthcare workforce. Critically engaged civic learning is a relatively new term used to describe a type of collaborative learning that centers on social justice, power dynamics, community, civic learning objectives, reflexivity, and sustainability. Nawson University's undergraduate medical education IPE program utilizes critically engaged civic learning through a required course for year two medical students, dietetic interns, and third year Laurentian nursing students. The course is 12 hours long and is delivered virtually to connect students and agencies from across Northern Ontario. The educational approach for this course includes some didactic instruction related to interprofessional competencies and group work strategies. However, it focuses on students developing a project in alignment with the needs of their assigned community agencies. The projects must be health promotion, human health resources, or food literacy related. However, the projects can vary in format and have historically inclu included PowerPoints, brochures, posters, and website designs. The data for this study was collected through semi-structured interviews with the community agency representatives who participated in the IPE course for at least one year between 2021 and 2023. In total, there were 13 participants, nine from the health promotion stream, one from the food literacy stream, and three from the human health resources stream. The interviews were audio recorded and transcribed. The data was then openly and axial coded using a lens of reciprocity to generate themes. So for the results, Theme one included return is worth the investment. Community agencies find value in the IPE program. Three sub-themes sub emerged. The first one relating to the benefits that were experienced by these agencies. These included support for existing and future programming, staff education, enhanced marketing strategies, improved staff recruitment strategies, improved structural organization, and the facilitation of relationships specifically between the agency and the university, the agency and the students, and the agency and other agencies in Northern Ontario. The second sub-theme was um, the utility of the student projects. So some of the representatives identified that the projects from the students were readily usable, while others had to be modified before they could be used within the agency. And the third sub-theme related to agency investment. So most agencies identified that the value of the student projects outweighed their time commitment for participation in the course. Theme two, students as program stakeholders, the student benefits observed. So the agency representatives identified that students benefited from participating in the course because it enhanced their medical, personal, and social knowledge, and it also offered them an opportunity to learn in a new setting. The third theme, the indirect recipient, positive community level outcomes were achieved. So benefits um, were also extended to community members as a result of the projects that were developed. And from the perspective of the community agency representatives, they thought that the community members benefited from enhanced medical and social service knowledge, as well as enhanced service experience, secondary to full staffing that resulted from the specific projects targeted to improve staff recruitment. And the fourth theme, maximizing outcomes, opportunities for program improvement. So these opportunities included expanding the program setting to include an in-person component, enhancing student diversity by including representation from other health professions, addressing student dynamics to encourage students to participate more equally, and ensuring student projects were delivered to the agencies in an editable format. In summary, the findings demonstrate that there is some level of reciprocity perceived by the community agency representatives as a result of the newly implemented IPE model at Nossum University. The results will be shared with the instructional designers at the school to inform curriculum updates. Further research to assess student perspectives and quantify the reciprocal nature of the model is encouraged.